So yeah, just everything, man. And yeah, so yeah, big up Tesla for, first of all, giving me the space for this event. So the event is all around young people. We've got some young people in the car right now. We've got Lewis in the back, got, got my fiance Jade in the back. And we've got Matt Snap on the, we got Matt, we got Matt Snap, we got Matt Snap on the video and photos. So yeah, no, we're looking forward to it. We've got 18 people, 18 people here. And it's all just gonna be about hopefully shining some light on some areas about how people can stand out uh, in your career, in your business. One thing that I am surprised about the Tesla, which I know a lot of people, a lot of people talk about is when they talk about the charge. It doesn't actually take that long. Yesterday I was at Spectrum, which is the local Tesla charging point. And it was like 15 minutes, I was done and dusted. And I've been, sorry Tesla, I've been ragging it as well. <laughs> and the charge is, the charge seems all right. Like it seems, it seems all right. So yeah, thank you for this. So I've got the Model Y and I've got the performance, which I think the guy at Tesla told me it's 1.86 seconds quicker than their more basic one. Um, so yeah, shout out Tesla for giving me a car for a week, man. I didn't, didn't expect that and the technology is crazy. But yeah, so I filled up yesterday, filled up to 200 miles and well, 185. And I've been about, I've been driving about a little bit, like music on, heating on, heating on too much, I think. Um, <laughs> um, and I've been racing about, so I don't know if that's just a myth. Also, I don't know if you need 200 miles in a day. And um, yeah, man, I don't know what I can show you about the technology. Like, the has got you got Spotify here. You got cam access to the camera straight there, which is amazing quality. Rainbow Road. I don't even know. How. Jade was playing this, playing about with this earlier, but act straight access to what. Uh, but it's just the tech. It's just everything. Oh, this is cool. So you could, everything is here. So like you put it in, obviously I've had it in sport. <laughs> obviously I've had it in sport the whole time. But what's the light? I, I, it's what I, mean. I don't even know, I can even change. Let's get a bit of pace going. Matt's flying around in the back of his seat. <laughs> like I got a gimbal. Yeah, 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 isn't it? So uh, we're gonna show you the showrooms, show you what the event is about. And we're gonna be putting on more of these, getting young people together. So look, if you're interested in meeting new people and you've got no idea, how to start streetwise events that is how that is how you start it you don't need to do anything except from change your mindset that's it that's it and you don't need if you don't know where to start start where you are click on my instagram profile with that's at real talk george go on eventbrite i don't know what it is but just get around good people man and i promise you your life will start to change and i don't think they're like what's the worst that can happen about being around good people do you know what i mean like what's the worst that could happen um and you might come and you might not enjoy it and you might not come because you think you've got nothing to bring which is a load of crap you definitely got something to bring everyone on this planet is gifted with a skill and sometimes it's just about identifying and spotting it um and there's nothing wrong with not knowing what it is and not being able to figure it out. And that's what these events are for. You might meet someone who might inspire you. Life can change in a moment. We're just pulling up, giving us eight, eight Teslas to, for the people that are coming to the event to test drive. Like, let's just think about that. This is an event for young people to come and mingle, but they get to just test drive a nice whip, just in case, just, they say, Sometimes you've got to just taste the leather. You've got to taste that bit of luxury in life. So if you're someone where you're not where you want to be right now, come and test drive a Tesla. Get in it for an hour, half hour, however long, because this is your opportunity just to see what it feels like to jump in something nice. And I'm not, I'm, listen, success isn't about what car you drive, how much money you got, but it might inspire you to go out there, work a little bit harder, do something that you're more passionate about. And yeah, man, for now, let's go in and let's have a look at what Tesla has in store for us. Let's go. As if this is happening. So, let's go and meet the guys. So the first thing 
as we're setting up, got all the place sorted. Well, I've pretty much done nothing, Lewis, Lewis, Jane and Matt. Um, but the first thing that comes to my mind as, as I prepare for this is, oh, I wonder if no one turns up. We've got 18 people booked. Now, because it's a free event, you usually get people drop out and you start to get this almost like imposter syndrome. Like, oh, what if no one shows up? But the truth of it is, it doesn't matter if two people show up, three people show up or one, pe one person shows up because today it's not about that. It's not really about how many people can I get in front of. It's about who can I pass this message on, which I think would benefit. That's what it's about. So that's something that I feel like a lot of us, when we think about success or we, we have these moments of nerves, we think about, oh, I haven't really got a lot of followers. Oh, I haven't really got a lot of likes on that post. And oh, listen, I'm guilty of that too. But what's important is what, what, what really matters in these scenarios, you know? Like what's the actual... Yeah, what's, what's, what, what is it you're thinking about? What is it that you're worried about? And does it actually matter? Because as I said a moment ago, I was sitting there like, oh, I was crapping myself. I was like, oh, I wonder if no one's going to show up. Do you know what I mean? And oh, I wonder like, if 18 people like just no show. And do you know what? If, if that's the case, that's the case. Do you know what I mean? We live and we learn. That's, that's it. If not, I get to drive a Tesla for a week, get to chill out. I think Tesla are bringing food. Um, so get to have some food with some, with some friends and that's it. But... I just wanted to come and bring that on here because I want to be transparent, you know, because these are the feelings that when, when you organise stuff like this, it's playing on my mind, you know? Like, oh, crap, what if no one shows up? What if this person doesn't? What if this person doesn't? Who cares? End of the day, who cares? Um, um, so, yeah, man, let's see, how, let's see how it goes. Check the setup, man. Check the setup. Like, it's working with... Wait, uh, hey. working with Tesla, you know? Tesla. Who would have thought? Elon. As well. Yeah, Tesla. Tesla. Oh, no, no way. It's got a big T on it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I was, oh, was going to say, bro. Yeah, I mean, it's not really that different. It's just like, yeah, it's just. We can all agree with that. Now, I'm not saying skill's not important. I'm not saying that, that you shouldn't work on your skill at all, but it, it doesn't come down to skill. Like, and I mean, Alf, you're, you're in sports, right? It's not all about skill, no, is it's it? Not, no, 100%. It's got, to be, it's got to be for more than that. But more importantly, you've got to earn that. You've got, you've got to earn, if you're skillful, you've got to earn a place. Because at the end of the day, you can have all the talent in the world. You could be the best furniture seller in the world, the best data analyst in the world, the best property guy in the world, the best teacher, the best marketing events, best coach, best engineer, best barber. I didn't think I was going to do the whole room, but I committed to it. <laughs> um, and. Um, like, but if no one knows, how, how do you get seen? How do you get noticed? That's a rhetorical question, no one needs to answer that. And that's what we're gonna talk about. Look, I don't think that I'm the best person to get lead generation. I don't think I'm the best podcaster. I don't think that I'm good at social media because I'm not. But I get opportunities because of it. Not because I've got a high following, not because, because I make the most with what I've got in front of me. And I think often what we do as people is we look too far and we forget what's in front of us, right? We look, we look so far ahead, but there's some things right in front of us. I was in church a few weeks ago and there was this picture and it's a picture of the ocean, right? And I want you to picture this for a second. So imagine you're in the middle of an ocean, no one needs to close their eyes or anything like that. Um, and you can see so much around you, right? You can see so much in front of you. You can see so much behind you, so much to the side of you, each side. What do you think you miss when you look all around you? What do you think? What, 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 what are we missing? You two don't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> you? Yeah? No? <laughs> Close? What's right underneath your feet? Yes, sir. Well, yes, sir. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. What's underneath you? And how deep does the sea go, right? How deep is that? So when we're thinking about this, when we're thinking about personal development, when we're thinking about personal branding, when we think about how we show up in the world, it's not always about what's in front of us. What's behind, def, definitely behind you is no good. It's about what's around, what, what's out, what can you root yourself in and how do you stand out in the world? And that's what we're gonna be speaking about. So, I love basketball by the way. Anyway, any basketball fans in here? It's been really nice to see how diverse like-minded people can be, right? Normally events that I've attended like this before, they've all kind of been like one sort of type of person. Yeah, so. And um, yeah, just being around like-minded people that want to better themselves, want to network, want to create a, a healthy new environment for themselves to connect with like-minded people. Yeah. So. We're out, let's go.
that is a wrap that is a wrap and do you know what for me it's one of those things that it may not have went the way that i anticipated uh there was obstacles not everyone showed up but do you know what today is exactly what i felt that i set out to do which was i wanted people to come and have fun and engage and that's what people done you know um and i'm proud of the fact that uh, i stopped procrastinating i got the event done and look man look where we're at look at this in the showroom people got to drive teslas that never would have drove with tesla before um and yeah it's cool like it's and i'm i've made i've made a difference today and that's what i set out to do and i couldn't have done it without matt behind there just make bringing this to life so like one thing I'll, i just want anyone that is build your network man building your network building a community of people around you that can support you in achieving your dreams is so important man it's so so important to achieve anything that you want in your life and today's been another reminder for me so for now until next time streetwise events it's been a pleasure let's go